Hello, I am Mardubich, and thank you for watching my gameplay videos. If you enjoy what you see, then please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today we are playing Arma 3 by Bohemia Interactive. My first video on this game will be a let's play on the campaign, so you can get the idea what it's about. The second video will be about the editor, which is a lot more fun to play with. I probably have more time on the editor than I do anything else in this game. This is a military simulation game. So don't be confused with Call of Duty. Um, it is very easy to die and can be difficult to kill people. In games like Call of Duty, Halo, and Battlefield, you can run all over, spray and pray, and live, and you'll be just fine. Uh, that doesn't work in this game, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go to campaign campaigns, and I'm going to start a new one here. So I'm going to keep this first one uh, a little short here on the campaign. If you like what you see and you want to see more of the campaign, then All put, right, in the, let's boot it up. put in the comments that you'd like to see more about the campaign and I'll do more. There we go. Calibrating. Looking good so far. Holy shit. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, you weren't kidding. Okay, let's see what this baby can do. Whoa! All right, come on over. Now, let's give you something to shoot at. Bang, bang. They're all yours, Sergeant. Great. Targeting and ballistics look normal. Let's get you oriented. Bring up your compass. Next one's just east of you. Okay, let's try bearings. Next one's at, uh, 220. All right, not bad. Moving along. Uh, here we go. Sergeant, if you'd be so kind. So this virtual reality part's actually kind of new. This wasn't in here the last time I played it. So, um, looks like it wants you to run from marker to marker as fast as you can. Oh, that's what it wants, huh? Great. Yeah. It says here that, uh, it'll spawn targets at each marker. You'll need to drop them before you can proceed. Well, whenever you're ready. Say again! Negative. Uh, yes, this is Staff Sergeant Adams. Send it. Christ, these people. Hold on! You know what? Go bother someone else. Ow! Hey, you yeah, morons. You having fun up there? You know it! Well, I think it's safe to say it's working as advertised. You got any more tanks lying around? <laughs> Maybe next time. Alright, let's shut it down. The greenbacks are gonna get here soon. Alright, when we load in, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the volume down. I thought I turned it down enough. Uh, I'm not sure if it's overpowering my voice or not, so I'll go ahead and correct that a little bit.
45 meters right. Standing by! Shit! On me, Conway. So, what'd you think? Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> right? Ah, uh, here comes the cavalry. Shit, looks like I missed one. Tell you what, you go get it working, I'll get things set up here. Copy. Quite sure what I'm supposed to get working, but American, respond over. I'm sorry, I thought I told you to go bother someone else. You know, I don't get annoyed easily. Yeah, right. But this guy, this guy's a special kind of fuckwit. Oh, there we go. That should do it. Copy. All right, everyone, gather around. See the targets? Really? Sorry, they're all we've got on hand. All right, first things first. I'm Staff Sergeant Adams. This is Sergeant Conway. We'll be your cabin crew for today. Cabin crew? Since I'm fairly confident we all know why we're here, I'll skip the usual brief. So, over to you, Sergeant. When you're ready, put some rounds downrange. Back on the shooting position, Sergeant. I see the sergeant went prone before engaging the targets. As such, he has the least amount of recoil to deal with and maintains a lower profile. If he'd remained standing, he'd have had a tougher time compensating for recoil. It's not impossible, but it's also not ideal. Engaging targets at greater distances is a bit more complicated. Collimator sites, like the sergeant here is using, are not well suited to the task. Sergeant, go ahead and grab the RCO from the crate. From now on, I'll be giving directions to the sergeant exclusively in compass bearings, so please pay attention. I'll call out specific targets for the sergeant to engage. It's up to him to pick them out and score a hit. Are you ready, sergeant? As I'll ever be. All right, first target. Helicopters. Well, speaking of CSAT. Pay attention, children. 100 meters, bearing 290. So he wants me to flag him? Oh, 290, my bad. There we go. Once more, just for the sake of clarity, 100 meters, bearing 290. 300 meters, bearing 330. Remember, control your breathing. Aim for clean, focused shots. Let's say 330, right? That's 300 meters away from you at bearing 330, Sergeant. Thank <laughs> you. 
Conway, it's over there, in the ruined building. You're making me look bad. <laughs> Man. There we go, finally. Four hundred meters, bearing three zero seven. For the sake of those watching at home, the target is at 400 meters, bearing 307. Great, right. let's move on. So there used to be actual firing arcs in this game. That's why I was trying to compensate high. While we're on the subject, you're going to find it much harder to control your breathing on the battlefield. Sergeant... Don't I'm... even say it. Your adoring public awaits. God damn it. Where the hell am I running to? There we go. What is the sergeant doing, I hear you ask? Well, in all honesty, I have no idea. Although I think we can all agree it's quite a sight to behold. Fuck you, Staff Sergeant. However, his completely spontaneous and totally unplanned marathon conveniently brings us to our next lesson. Fatigue. It can and it will be your worst nightmare in the field, should you fail to regulate it effectively. Push yourself too hard and you'll find yourself unable to hit shit, even when the situation requires otherwise. And hell, if that's not enough for you, you'll just grow to hate the sound of your own wheezing. Okay, oh, there we go. So yeah, back on the firing arcs, 300 and 400 meters really isn't that far away, but the last time I played this, you actually had to aim a little above it, so they might have fixed that, I guess. Is all yours, Sergeant. The Sergeant paced himself well as he ran around. As such, he's got it much easier when he engages targets. Again, you need to control your stamina. If you don't, you'll have a hard time hitting anything at all. That'll do, Sergeant. That'll do. American, please, I need to speak with you. There has been an incident. Over. Alright, so that entire tutorial was new. Uh, I think we're heading into the mission that when I first started playing this game was the first thing you did, so... should start getting what do interesting you mean, here. Incident? Send us your grid. Over. We... Cannot do that. Say again. Why not? Over. We do not have a map. GPS? Uh, negative. Copy. Wait one. It's always something with these people. All right, change of plans. Everyone, gather around the sergeant. Come on, don't be shy now. We're going to learn something useful. Bring up your map, Conway. Okay, here's the deal. Since your people are completely incapable of intelligent thought, it has fallen upon us to rescue them from certain doom. Before we begin, Sergeant, if you'd be so kind, stick a marker on our location, 066160. For those just tuning in, six-figure grids are a crucial navigational tool. 
Coordinates are read from the bottom first, followed by the ones that run up the side. We're going to attempt to triangulate their position. However, before we get onto that... You guys still there? Yes. We need some landmarks to go off here. Do you have anything we could use? Did you spot anything recognizable en route to your location? Over. Well, we know that we are west of Sirta. We drove through it. Okay, that's one. Hold on. All right, Sergeant, stick a marker on Sirta. It should be about three clicks to the northeast. Clicks? Three kilometers, in other words. Now, let's draw a line going west from Sirta. Can you guys give us any other landmarks? There is a hill nearby. It has a small chapel on top of it. It is at bearing... 130 from our position. Over. Copy. Wait one. That's probably somewhere southwest of Sirta itself. Think you can locate it, Sergeant? All right, the bearing they gave us was 130. However, that's from them to the chapel. We want to work out the bearing from the chapel to their position. So let's do a 180. That makes it 310 from the chapel itself. You'll notice the lines intersect. That, in a nutshell, is all we're looking for. It tells us that, if the information they provided is accurate, they must be somewhere near there. However, the intersect won't always be exact. Use common sense to enhance your accuracy, or try to obtain further information. Over to you, Sergeant. Stick a marker on their position. So I think it's going to be up here, but I'm going to go ahead and stick the marker here. Oh. Yep, that looks about right. We've got your grid, 074183. We're on our way. Stay put. Out. Okay, we're going to go find your friends. Keep yourselves busy while we're gone. The rest of you, load up. Conway, you're driving. See, so take a left, follow that around. Okay. Take the left up ahead. So you have to be careful when driving because the brakes don't like to work too good in this game. If you get up to a really high speed, and you're coming up on a corner and you're just mashing on the brakes it really won't slow down at all and I'm not talking like locking up the brakes I'm talking like the brakes just don't work Shit. take the left Conway around the town I'm blaming CSAT. Keep driving, I'll check with McKinnon. Broadway, Alpha 1 1, actual. Was that what I think it was? Over. Confirmed 1 1, just a small tremor. No cause for concern. Over. Copy, Broadway. Phalanx to all units. We just experienced a light earthquake. Do not be alarmed. Return to your post and resume your duties. 
out. What he said, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, we got it, Colonel. 1-1 one, one out. Guess some greenbacks must have shit themselves. Take the next lift. Keep an eye on the GPS, Sergeant. I didn't even see a road to turn on. sure how I missed that. What the hell happened here? We were on patrol. We were attacked. Patrol, huh? Yes. And these people? They attacked you? Yes. Was I unclear? You ever heard of excessive force? Yes, Sergeant. Staff Sergeant, they're just civilians. Did you sweep the buildings? And what's the deal with that man over there? Yes, we did. They are clean. You searched all of them? Including the ones down there? No, only these ones. And that man? Do you have medical support inbound? Um, no. Are you kidding me? Sergeant, search those buildings down there. The rest of you, set up a perimeter. And you, call for a goddamn medevac. Now! Alright, so this is still all completely new here. Um... Should be interesting. Can't tell him to stack on the door. Small one's clear, continuing the search. Come on, open the door. I have to stand in front of the door to open it? I can't open it from the side, huh? The shed's empty!
Adams, I've got a weapon stash here. Small arms and explosives. Definitely gorilla. Over. You see? They were a threat. Yeah, and I'm sure they just attacked you for no reason. Copy, Sergeant. Form on me. I can't take any of this. Give me some explosives at least. This one has a two on two of three on it, which I'd really like. But then I lose the scope and all that. I'm not good enough at aiming right now to lose my scope. <laughs> Alright, so the last time I played this, shit just hit the fan right off the bat. Um, it's kind of calm here to start. Christ, did they put it upstairs in this thing? Having trouble there, Staff Sergeant? No, sir. Come on. Any word from the MOD sit down, sir? Negative. Nothing from the AAF or the guerrillas. In fact, the whole thing's gone dark. You're kidding me! Nope. Figure that missing greenback convoy has something to do with it? Why do you think you boys are here? There's your ride. You two get going. Find us that convoy, Staff Sergeant. Copy. Good. I'll try to hop a couple of things here on this.
Let's wait for the others. In position, Staff Sergeant. Copy. What do you see? Convoy's been hit hard. No movement as far as I can tell. But, to be honest, there's a lot of trees. Over. Understood. Maintain overwatch. We're moving up. Let's go, Conway. Whoa! Dead ahead, Sergeant. Hold fire! We're friendly! Please tell me you two have this. Copy. We're on them. Engage that machine gunner! Contact! Machine gunner! Absolutely no idea where I am. Clear. All clear. Move up. Broadway, 1-1. One, one. Be advised, we've made contact with FIA forces at the convoy's location. All contacts neutralized. Over. Copy, 1-1. One, one. Lock it down. Broadway out. Go! Okay, let's go. Way to run in Go front of my barrel. We've got wounded over here! Son, can you hear me? He's not responsive. Sergeant, help him out. Take my kit if you need it. Broadway, do you read? Over. Confirmed, 1-1. One, one. Send traffic. Over. 
We've got wounded at the convoy. One greenback, unresponsive, possibly in shock. It doesn't look good. But one, two actuals taking care of him. Over. Clear. Copy. Relaying to Phalanx. Medical is inbound with reinforcements. Try to keep him stable until they arrive. Over. We'll try, Broadway. One, one out. He's holding, but not for long. We need medical here now. All right, hold this perimeter. I'm not in the mood for any more surprises. All right, so um, I'm going to say that's probably enough for this video. If you want to see more of the campaign, I'll be more than happy to do a second episode. Uh, just leave in the comments that you want to see more, and I'll go ahead and record another one. Thank you for watching. Um, the next video I'm going to do on this game is going to be about the editor, so keep an eye out for that as well. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you for watching.